and are likely to discourage people from being distracted by overused cliches, hackneyed phrases, words that have been used for ages that finally no longer mean anything because from what I know from the development economics that have been preached by the World Bank, multilateral organizations, NGO, and so on for so long, the word bottom-up has been used to the extent that it no longer means much. Even if you go to a management training, a trainer will tell you, I'm going to use a bottom-up approach by beginning by asking you questions before I give the answers, because I want to start from the bottom to up. So it's a, an, an overused cliche. That's why when Jim Orengo asked me the other day, yesterday, in uh, Nyamira, what I should say about that, I, said, I can't say any minimum because it's just a cliche. What we want are policies that have content and that have been applied and made a difference to lives of people in the third world, and we know them. Here, for example, I know that the Economic Recovery Strategy for Wealth and Employment Creation that I championed in the Ministry of Planning and National Development made a difference in this country and still makes a difference. It led to Vision 2030, and now it has metamorphosed in all kinds of policy in the Jubilee government. If you look at four-point agenda, it's, not, it's a derivative of Vision 2030. It is a derivative of economic recovery strategy for wealth and employment creation. And therefore, somebody should come up with a much more imaginative and exciting message about transforming this nation than using a hackneyed cliche like bottoms up. Having said that, let me now come to what we're doing today. But I wanted to debunk that thing for beginning. Sawa, sawa. <laughs>